Hi, I'm Kendra Bernhardt, and I'm going to be discussing um, the article Effects of Innovative Virtual Reality Game and EMG Biofeedback on Neuromotor Control in Cerebral Palsy. Um, this article was level three for evidence for the target population of um, pediatric patients with cerebral palsy who had spastic diaplegia. Um, we're specifically looking at the upper extremity with um, overactive biceps and underactive um, tricep muscles. Um, the specific parameters used in this article was an EMG biofeedback versus EMG biofeedback combined with a virtual reality game to incorporate a functional task. So in the article, the patients had EMG biofeedback electrodes applied to the bicep brachii muscle and to the triceps brachii muscle. Baseline parameters were then taken with the patient extending and flexing the elbow using the EMG biofeedback machine. Those were then recorded pre-test and post-test. Um, patients were given a five cycle, five cycles during the session of 60 seconds each. Um, half the initial treatment was just bio, biofeedback individually. And then the second, they were playing a game called Aqua in which the patient was to extend their elbow as though they were trying to reel in a fish during a fishing game. And then they would pull their arm back as of trying to cast the reel to facilitate that activation of the triceps. The parameters, uh, the parameters were set at a thousand hertz for the rate and the electrodes were a hydrogel electrode with silver and silver chloride surfaces placed two centimeters apart on the um, affected limb muscle groups. Um, the outcomes of this study showed that combining the EMG biofeedback with virtual reality showed um, positive increased significant increases in activation of the triceps and reciprocal inhibition of the biceps muscle, whereas with the EMG alone, they actually had negative outcomes and their post-test values were actually lower than their pre-test values. So with all that being said, I would recommend this being used in the clinic with the appropriate patients. Um, it's just a matter of whether or not you have the proper equipment and being sure to being very meticulous with putting down all your results.